Hey guys, this is Big Fear from Big Fear TV. Once again, I'm back to another video. This time, we're going to be reviewing the Huawei Watch GT on the channel. Y'all know this is the first Huawei product on this channel. I've never been a big fan of this brand, but I have a mixed feelings about the Huawei Watch GT. It's a nice watch. It's good. The design is good. Everything about it is good, but my feelings are mixed. That means I have 50% like and 50% dislike. And we're going to start by talking about the 50% like about this watch. So without wasting much time, let's get that really into the review. So first thing first, let's start by talking about the build quality of this smartwatch. This smartwatch is good. Like when I mean the build quality is awesome. It's light, simple, very thin, and very nice to wear on the wrist. Like for example, uh, this is my uh, normal uh, edifice. It's very heavy. This is a normal watch. And this is my, my Gears 3, Samsung Gears 3. Look how thin the Huawei watch is. Just look at it. I don't know if the camera is doing it justice, but look how thin this watch is as compared to a normal watch. And as compared to the Samsung Gear 3, very thin. This is very, I mean, you can wear this watch almost all day from morning to evening without having any issue with it. I've been going to bed with this watch and man, it tracks my sleep with 100%. I mean, no complaint about it. We're going to talk about the sleep tracking. But let's first of all talk more about the design. So the watch is made of three different materials. The bezel is ceramic, which is good because it's going to prevent the watch from having a lot of scratches. Then we also got a stainless steel, a black stainless steel. So the body is more black stainless steel and the back right here is made up of plastic where the hard rate sensor is. And as you can see, there are two uh, connector pins for the charging at the bottom. And man, the battery life on this thing is insane. Just keep watching the video to the end. We're going to talk about a battery life because it's a big selling point for this watch. On one side, there is uh, the two button. This one is a menu option. And this is for the different exercises this watch can track. So that's all. And it comes with 22 millimeter band. Let me see if I have it. I kept it somewhere here. And this is it right here. These are the watch trap that it comes with the watch these are silicones 22 they're nice i mean if you're going to bed with it i advise you to use this silicone band because it makes the watch lighter lighter than using a stainless steel band like this one like the one i'm using right here if you like it i'm going to drop the link of this uh, strap in the description below if you like it you know where and how to get it from because it's very nice it makes this watch looks premium and very responsible it's a very nice strap. I'll drop the link in the description. Another reason why I like the Huawei Watch GT is because of the display. The display of this watch is awesome. I mean, it's a 1.39 inches. That means almost 1.4. Bigger than the Galaxy Watches. OLED display with a resolution of 454 by 454 which is wow which is a lot because when it comes to smart watches i think the display of this one is a top because the galaxy watches are like 300 and something resolution but this is 445 by i mean 455 by 455 which is good and with the, the fact that it's made of it's an oled display it means everything is really bright even in broad daylight with so much sunshine, uh, sunshine place, it's very bright. You can go through all the different menu, look the time with a very bright display. Colors are vivid. Everything is really good. So the display of this watch is nothing to complain about. It's A1. And yeah, the display is really good. So that's about the display of the Huawei Watch GT. I just wish there was a, an, an always on display on this watch, but a lot of things are lacking here. We're gonna talk about it later in the video, but I wish there was an always on display. If there was, it could have made the watch, the display very good, and but it's not, so yeah. But at least there is 
the show time so you can turn on this option to let the watch show the time or the display being on like this for almost five minutes so that's good but the display is a1 the biggest selling point or the greatest thing about the huawei watch gt is the battery life and man this smart watch is awesome when it comes to battery life two weeks while we talk of two weeks and i'm confirming that yes two weeks on a single charge you guys remember the last time i did the unboxing the link in the description below you can check it out and the last time i did the unboxing is almost two weeks now and i've never charged it the battery is still on 10 percent as you can see right here i don't know if you guys can see it well the battery is on 10 percent since the last time i did the unboxing and i've never charged this watch before i've never done it i don't know i've never tried the charging system but man the battery life on this thing is a plus 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 man i can give like a hundred plus on this thing other smart watches like my galaxy watch it's like maximum is four days and four days is if you're not using the always on display but this one some of most of the time i use the show time and it stays like this for five minutes most time of the day i'm using the show time two weeks now i've never charged this watch and the battery is still at 10 percent so the battery life on this thing is the biggest selling point because if you're buying this watch and travel around you will never worry about carrying the charger because the battery stayed for a long time this is really good so buying this watch because of the battery is a great reason to to do that so the battery life on this thing man it's nothing to complain about it's awesome i don't know the amount of battery I don't know how the technology why we put in this thing that let the battery goes up to two weeks on a single charge but another reason why i like the Huawei watch gt is because of the basic features and when i mean basic features i mean things like the heart rate monitor the tracking or the heart rate sensor uh the cloud sleep steps the step count and some few uh, basic exercises and they are accurate they are very basic, but they are very accurate. This thing counts steps without any error. The heart rate sensor is really, really good. It's really accurate. And the sleep, man, I, I mean, I'll go to bed with this watch all the time because it's very light. With the silicon band, it feels like I'm not wearing anything. So I can sleep with it in order to track my sleep. And the sleep tracking on this thing is accurate it's so accurate and it gives you the result at the same time while you're sleeping the, the galaxy watch i mean you have to go to bed you get up in the morning before it sends you a notification letting you know the different your sleep tracking but this one is at the same time you're sleeping it's tracking your your sleep and it gives you the result instantly so the basic features on this thing, the heart rate, which is something that is really good, it works 100% of the time, it's constant. It never stops working. The heart rate sensor on the bottom here is always flashing. It's always uh, counting your heart rate, always measuring it. It's always 100% of the time and everything is accurate. So the basic features is a great reason why I like this watch. And now let's talk about the few watch faces that comes with the Huawei Watch GT. The few watch faces are nice, they're bright, the colors are really good. And let, let's check it out. Let's see. Uh, we have, for example, this one, which is my favorite. We got this one, three needles, exercise ring. This one also is good, especially for exercises. Emplo uh, Explorer, outdoor, weather, heart rate, dashboard, elegance, 24 hours time. This one also is good, especially if you want your watch to be glowing, brighter in a dark environment. This one is good. So the watch faces that comes with it are really good. The colors are really bright. And yeah, I like them. I like using them. But when you get into the app in order to download, there are just few, very few watch faces to download. And that's one of the reasons why I dislike this watch. We're going to talk about that in the, in the second but the watch faces that comes with it are really good. I like them so much. And the fact that the display of this watch is OLED, it makes those watch faces pop really good. So 
the watch the few watch faces that comes with it are really good and classic and as you can see they are mostly uh, analog watch faces like this one two three four five six six seven eight nine nine analog watch faces so it makes the watch classic looks classic please so the watch faces is a great reason why i like it the last thing i like about the huawei watch gt is the strap removable mechanism now it's very easy to change the strap like this one is the same as the samsung galaxy watches it's very easy to pull out and use a new one i have a different watch strap right here i got a different colors white black uh leather this is a leather one so you can use any of this strap the same strap that i've been using with my galaxy watch or the gs3 is the same that i'm using with the huawei watch gt because it's the same uh removable mechanism so that's one reason why i like this watch because i can easily swap any strap i want to use on it maybe white maybe black maybe the one that comes with it maybe a leather or a stainless steel so that is one reason why I like the Huawei Watch GT. Because the first thing I dislike about the Huawei Watch GT is how few the, the, the features are. The features on this watch are just too few, too basic. But when you compare it with uh, watches like the Galaxy Watch or the Gear 3, like there are just so many different features you can use on, the, on these Samsung watches. And there are thousands of it that you can download from the Samsung Galaxy App Store, but the Huawei watch, very few. You got things like workout, workout record, workout status, heart rate, activity record, sleep, barometer, compact, uh, compass, weather, notification, stopwatch, time, timer, alarm, flashlight, find my phone, and settings. And when you get into the settings, this is all you got in the settings. Just display, do not disturb, and system. Man, and display, the only thing you have is watch faces and brightness. The brightness is maximum at level 5, but watches like the Galaxy Watch, the Gears 3, got a, a brightness of up to 10. But the Huawei Watch, maximum is 5, and that's one thing we're going to talk about it, the brightness, which is one thing I dislike about it. The display is good, but the fact that the brightness is maximum at 5, man, it's it's not really good. I mean, I wanted this thing to be brighter than this. When, for example, if you go out in a bright, a complete bright day, man, it'll be difficult for you to see the time on this thing. So the way in which the features are very few. So when we get into the app, this is the app right here on my Galaxy Note 9. Well, you have the watch faces. The watch faces are here. Let's get into more. Come on, come on. Very slow. Okay, these are the watch faces that uh, you can download. Just two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten watch faces that you can download from the app. And the ones that come with it is three, six, nine, twelve, and fifteen. Fifteen watch faces comes with the watch, which are good. But the ones you can download are very few and they're not even beautiful. They're ugly. These are some ugly ass watch faces that you can download. And when it comes to the different features we got things like the Huawei true sleep activity reminder continuous heart rate monitoring which are enables alarm notification weather uh, bluetooth disconnect disconnection not uh, reminder uh, race race to wake screen auto download update package over wi-fi firmware update restore factory settings that's all and on the top you got the battery percentage and it shows you that the watch is connected to a smartphone that's the only thing that you can have with the app. So the way in which there are just very few features on this watch. And if you click on the button on the bottom right here, it takes you to the different activities that this watch can strike, can track different exercises like uh, running outdoor, indoors, walk, climb, uh, water cycling, swimming. That's all, just very few. If you're somebody who do bodybuilding or more intense exercises, there is nothing for you here. This is not a watch for those type of people with bodybuilders. So the watch faces, I mean, very few. The features, very few. So that's one reason why I dislike this watch. The limited amount of watch faces is another reason why I don't like this watch. So 
when you get into it, like I just show you guys the amount of watch faces you have in this thing. Just 10 that you have to download. They are not beautiful, ugly. And 15 that comes with it. And when you compare it with uh, the Gear S3, that has, I, cannot, I don't know, maybe millions of different watch faces. Uh, I just think Huawei should have done better. Or maybe let other developers develop or create new watch faces for the Huawei Watch GT. This is a beautiful watch, but the fact that the watch faces are very few uh, just drives me crazy. Because I've been using all these watch faces on it. I change my watch faces almost every day. Like these ones, this one on my Gear S3, I downloaded this one maybe uh, one week ago and it's very good. I love it. I've been using it for like a week now. But on this watch, I change the watch faces like almost every day. And I'm already bored with all the watch faces. I don't know what to do. There is nothing I can do because the ones that are in it are just limited. You, there's no way you can download more watch faces. Or watch faces. So it makes me really dislike this watch. The watch faces very So thick. I talk about the brightness of the Huawei Watch GT, which when you get into settings, display, brightness, the max is five get one two three four five or you use auto but at five the brightness is is not as compared to that of the galaxy watch which is maximum at 10 and this thing is bright this thing you never have any issue when it comes to uh the brightness even in broad daylight in crazy light you can still see the time on the galaxy watches but the Huawei watch, when you get into a crazy bright weather with bright sunlight, man, you have difficulty, you have problem seeing the time, even though it's OLED, yes, the display is good, yes, but the, the amount of brightness should have been more than this. I just wish Huawei increased the brightness to maybe max, maybe 10, it should have been good. So the brightness level is another reason why I don't like this watch, but I'm not complaining too much because the display is good. The last reason why I dislike the Huawei Watch GT is because of the many things that are absent on this watch. Like, one, there is no microphone. Two, there is no external speakers. For making calls or receive calls, it's impossible on this thing. Three, there is no music controller. Like this one, on the Galaxy Watches, you can control music from your smartphone. And there is no Wi-Fi. So you cannot connect this thing to Wi-Fi. The internal storage is very little. You cannot store any music on it. And even if you have music on it, how are you going to control it? Because there is no control on this thing. So a lot of things are absent on this watch, which could have made this watch a really contender for other smart watches like the Apple Watch or the Galaxy Watches. But for now, it's just basic. It's just very few, just very basic and the price also is basic. I'm not complaining too much because the price is not expensive. So it's very basic for those who like basic things and just basic features. So that's all about this watch. My verdict is that this is a great watch for those who like basic things. And if you're somebody who likes more features, then don't go for this. Go for something else. But if you like all those basic and few features and you like the design, which is good, uh, you like the, uh, the the display, which is good, then this watch is for you. But for others who like more things, more features, everything on a smartwatch, then go for something else. So, thank you guys for watching. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notification for more videos, more great videos coming up on Big Field TV. Until then, see you in the next one. Peace.